So I'd like to tell you a little bit about one of the exciting new developments in the tissue engineering and regenerative medicine portfolio from MIT, from Dr. Sangeeta Bhatia. And the problem that she's trying to address is the fact that when we try to evaluate new drugs, it's often very difficult because the best we have right now is to use an animal model system. But those responses are not often typical of human responses, and so therefore they don't give us the information we need. So what Dr. Batia and her colleagues have done is to make a construct that is made up of human hepatocytes or liver cells and mix them with supporting cells as well as a matrix to support this and wrap it all up in a protective hydrogel so that they're able to generate a little miniature liver. Once this little liver is transplanted into a, into a mouse, the product of this is a mouse that can provide both mouse liver function as well as human liver function. So there's been this interest in understanding uh, human-specific liver responses, in particular how human livers metabolize drugs and are susceptible to the toxicity induced by those drugs. So when one is making a new compound, it's really important to understand those species-specific responses that typically don't show up until clinical trials in patients. The hope of the field has been to make mice with that could somehow um, help predict these human responses. So our idea was to make a tissue engineered human liver and implant it in a mouse, engineer it so that the human hepatocytes would be stabilized, that they would express all their human specific functions, and that they would be engrafted into the mouse. And then the mouse would have its own liver, but in addition, uh, a little human liver organoid. So essentially through tissue engineering, what we've done is made a very robust technology that allows us to make large cohorts of animals with human liver responses that can be used for testing. Our hope is that this will really be the use of tissue engineering to create um, a drug discovery and development platform. So ultimately our long-term goal, of course, is to create livers that will implant into patients. But in the near term, we'd really like to be able to make this tool to transform um, biomedical translational research.